Hey, man, what's up? Lockout men back in the truck, you know what I'm saying? With another episode of Lockout Men. Mates the company. What's going on, LOM community? Yo, this is your boy, Lockout Men, and I do what you guys want me to do. You guys want me to make these calls for you? That's what I'm going to do. This one comes from subscriber Jason. Yes, he said, Lockout Men, I want you to give a call to McLeod Express in Decatur, Illinois. He wants to know a little bit about McLeod Express. All right, Jason. Okay, my brother. You want to know about him? I want to know about him too. So, I'm about to go ahead and make that call for you. And before I make the call, check it out. Make sure you guys go and download Driver Pulse. It is the truck driver's guide for getting that trucking job that you want. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you download Driver Pulse, all right? Also, seasons one and two of Lockout Man Makes the Call is available. So go and check it out. Check it out. Right now, we about to jump into this call to Metloid's Express. Yes, Metloid's Express. We about to jump into that call. Let's see what Metloid's Express is about. Hey, how you doing? I'm great. How are you doing today? I am fine. Thank you. You are a recruiter, I take it. Yes, I am. All right. All right. Well, I'm just giving you guys a call. I, I see a few of you guys' trucks out here, and uh, I went online and, and check out some information about McCloud. I don't understand why I was calling it McLeod's. Where did that come from? A lot of people <laughs> call it that. Okay, so it's McCloud. Okay. Um, well, I'm just calling you to see if I can get a uh, some uh, little bit of information. I got a. I got a trucking I got a trucking group that I'm a part of and you know a lot of people is interested in the places that I call so usually well, the information I get from you I take back to them and you know they can make their assessment as well. So if, if you don't mind I got a few questions to ask and uh let's see if you can Okay, let's go for it. All right, cool. Uh first thing first, uh do you guys offer CDL training there? We do not. Okay. Okay. All right, so what's the hiring areas? Um, I can send you a map that has all of that on it, along with our benefits and stuff that you could take a look at and go over, if that would be helpful. And uh, that way you've got a picture of it. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I would... Don't go much past I-35 going to the west, mm -hmm. not much past I-20 going to the south. Mm -hmm. And we do go up into Wisconsin a little bit, and then not much past Detroit. Mm -hmm. We do go um, to the east. Philadelphia to Kansas City is a good corridor for us. Mm -hmm. um, and then we do go to New York, but not into the city. Mm -hmm. And then the New England states, some, but not much. Okay, okay. Where's the uh, where's the term? Where's your terminals located at? Or the main terminal. We have our main terminal is in Decatur, Illinois. Okay. And then we have one in Lafayette, Indiana. Okay, okay. Uh, do you guys have a sign on bonus? And if so, how is it paid out? Um, it's a $2,000 sign on bonus, paid $100 a week for 20 weeks. And over the road drivers um, and regional drivers have a $1,000 orientation pay that's paid over the first two weeks that you're here. Okay. 500 each week. You guys all after you've delivered a load. Okay. You guys, uh, you guys do hair follicles for pre-employment uh, testing. Uh, no, we do not. All right. What's your policies on felons? Um, if it it depends on what it is, but if it's old, older than seven years, um, 
he usually goes back seven years. Oh, okay. Depending on how bad of it, of it was. Okay, okay. Now, you mentioned orientation and uh, and the, you say, $1,000 payout for orientation? Yeah, 500 the first week, 500 the second. But you have to have some more zip under your belt before you get your first 500 Okay, okay. Where's the orientation uh, held at? Decatur, Illinois. And we'll put you up in a hotel and bring you in a car. All right. Now, let me ask you this uh, for the hotel stay. Uh, for... Well, I'm, it's it's room. it's a, it's a here. you get your own room. Okay, you okay? I was about to ask that <laughs> because um, I knew I knew what you were. <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up. Um, for new drivers, that's that's coming out. Uh, you guys offer training. Uh, I'm not not CDL no, school. Not. I'm talking about. Six. Oh, okay, go ahead. You have to have six months under your belt to be able to come on here. Oh, okay, okay. All right, cool, cool. What's the CPM there? What's what's the starting CPM? 50 cents a mile. Whoa, is is that 50 cent straight or 50 cent with incentives? 50 cent straight with six cents incentives. If you um, average $2,200 or 2,200 miles, um, a month you get a four cent a mile bonus at the end of each month check cut for all the miles ran and then at the end of each quarter if you um, don't have any tickets or accidents you get another two cent a mile bonus check at the end of each quarter for all miles ran oh, okay okay so 50 cents starting which is awesome <laughs> over, the road, for, over the road regional is um 44. all right now since you mentioned regional what, what's your what's your regional um uh, what's your regionals the map that i'm getting ready to send to you Hassan, mm -hmm. it, it's going to show you a um, blue area yellow area and red area the red area is regional the blue area is otr and the uh, yellow area is the OTR has to stay out two weeks. The area that is in yellow mm -hmm. has to stay out three to four weeks. Do you guys offer pay advances? I'm not sure how they do the pay advances. I think they put like $100 on your card each week um, to use for tolls and different stuff. That, um, that We do have the pass, but you cannot go on toll road. The, you know, in Chicago, the Skyway, highway, yeah, you can't use the toll pass for it. Okay, but I could use. Uh, you guys do reimburse me for tolls and uh, scales for other for other tolls, though, right? Okay, on on your card, you can scale at cat scales, and it would you could use your card for that. Carry okay. a best card. Okay. Or um, scales. You've got the pass thing in your that you don't have, won't have to pay for tolls. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Awesome, awesome. Uh, do you guys offer holiday pay? And if so, which holidays do you pay for? I will also attach um, a sheet on that so that it's right there in front of you and you can look at all of it. All right. What about uh? What about detention, breakdown, and layovers? It'll also all be on there. Okay. Because we do pay for all of those. Okay. So I have fifty cent a mile. How many? So how many miles I can average a week? Well, you know, with the holidays and everything, things are going to be really busy now. I mean, some of our top drivers are making seventy-five thousand a year. Okay. So that's so so I can average about three thousand to maybe thirty-five hundred a week if I if I run like that. You, you you are not going to be able to do that on a constant basis with the Qualcomm in your truck. Okay. 
because all of our trucks are equipped with Qualcomm. And you, I, I, I don't know how well you are with the Qualcomm, but you aren't going to average three to 3,500 with the Qualcomm in your truck each week. It's just not, it, you know, you just can't do it. Well, I, I, I can average 3,000 miles a week with a, with a Qualcomm. 3,000, yeah, but 3,500, that would be pushing it. Yeah, 30, yeah, 3,500 yeah. is pushing it, but I, I never, I never ran, I never ran no more than, no more than 3,000. So, you know, I'm just going based off what other people say in there, you know, and, and what they can run, you know. Our, so. our, our over the road drivers are averaging 25 to 2,700 a week. Oh, okay, okay. All the all ugh, all the miles paid. Is it like zip code to zip code? And do uh, household mover guide. Household mover guide. Yeah, paid off the household mover guide. Can you explain that to me? Because that's that's new to me. Well, I mean, all I know is it's household mover guide. You'd have to probably look it up. It's not paid off of the hub, though. They have they have the system set up, and you get paid off of what. And when you get the load assignment sent to your truck, it's going to show you what you're going to get paid for that trip. Okay. What's your home time policy there? If you're over the road, you get home every other weekend, either on Friday or Saturday. If you get home Friday, you'll leave out Sunday. If you get home Saturday, you'll leave out Monday morning. Okay. Now, what about uh over the road or dedicated? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dedicated. Uh, dedicated. Or do you we guys really all... don't have a lot of dedicated um, in the area where you live? Okay. What about regional? Uh, regional in your area, we Cleveland is out. The, the minimum is out two weeks. Okay. And that's over the road. All right. We don't have regional in, in Cleveland. What about, uh, what's your pet and rider policy there? No pet policy at all. Mm -hmm. And you can have um, spouse ride year round. If you want a child to ride, they have to be 13 or older and only one person in the truck with you at time, one time. Okay. Now you mentioned that uh, you guys do NYC, but is it forced dispatch up there to NYC or California? We don't go to California, and we um, it is not forced dispatch to New York, but we don't usually go there. If you if we did have a run there, and you were asked to do it, and you chose to do it, it's an extra two hundred and fifty dollars for crossing the bridge. Okay, okay. What about uh? What, do you guys offer leasing? No, we do not. All right, so no leasing. What about owner ops? Can can owner ops come there? No, we do not. Okay. What what equipments do you guys offer? 2016 and newer Freightliner Cascadias. Are they automatics or 10 speeds? Some are automatic, some are manual. If I wanna if I wanna choose between the two, can I can I do that? If you have a restriction or required, because some people they require one because they haven't driven anything other than that. Right. You can require one, but if you are not restricted or required, then um, it, it, we, we don't have enough automatic for you just to say, okay, I want an automatic or I want it. So, sometimes we have to wait till we get enough automatics in for a guy to come to class. Okay, okay. What are the trusts governing that? Uh, 70 on the cruise and 68 on the pedal. Okay. What dry, uh, What amenities that you guys offer inside the trucks? We have uh, APU units on them. If you want anything else, you have to bring it. We do not have refrigerators. We don't have TVs, and we do not have inverters. Okay. Can I take Can I take the truck home with me for my home time? Yes, as long as you have a safe place to park it. All right. All right. I forgot your name already. I am not good with people's My names. Name is I, right. Thank you very much for taking the time to uh, to go over this with me, man. Um, what would probably be the best reason for me to for me to to, to join McLeod, other than the other than We're the fifty cent? Family
Out. We are very family oriented, and we care about our drivers. Okay, awesome, awesome. Well, ma'am, thank you very much. Uh, I really do appreciate it. I will definitely take this information back with me and assess it. Also, okay. you'll give. Also, I will pass on the email to some of my driver friends that may be uh, interested in uh, Met Lloyd as well. And I would definitely have okay. them to have them to call you. Uh, call you. Alrighty. All right, ma'am. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks for Sean. All right, ma'am. What do you guys think of that call? I really don't have an opinion. I really don't. I'm, I don't have an opinion at all. You guys want to know more about all the calls that I make? Check out Indeed or Glassdoor. They definitely got the, got the reviews there. Make sure you do your research or any company before you make your decision to jump into a company. McCloud, what do you guys think of that call? 50, 50 cents starting? I'm not sure about, they, they don't pay base hub miles. They, I forget what she said, but they pay on, but I definitely gotta go and look that up and, and get a little bit more information off of that. If you guys are interested in McCloud, make sure you give her a call. The information will be in the description. Well, that is it for episode number two, 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 maybe three. I don't know. I'm just I'm just doing this as I go. <laughs> season three, y'all. Season three of Lockout Men's Make the Call, man. Yo, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share the video, and hit that bell on the way out the door. This was subscriber request. So, Jason, thanks for this uh, suggestion to call Metloy Express. They're located in Decatur, Illinois. So if you guys want to know some more about them, give them a call. Until then, yo, tell me, who's next?